Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. They're polite. I mean, they just take the time for you. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. I like the Angels for what they've done for me. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients. Eagle Community Television presents Community Connection with your host, Mike Cooper. Hello and welcome again to Community Connection from Eagle Community Television. Thanks for watching. Thanks as always to the producer of our series, Jeff Durall. We're in the President's Office with Fort Hayes State University President Dr. Myrta Martin as we talk about the summer of 2016 at Fort Hayes State University. And uh, fortunately, we were able to catch up with her for about 15 minutes on our community connection here during the summer. So let's get started, if we could, President Martin. To begin, let's review a little graduation of 2016 and some special memories. A memorable graduation. It was um, memory making. This gentleman um, made all the difference in the world, in my life and in the life of students. Uh, he spoke from the heart, no notes. Uh, he came in, he was not feeling well, but you know, when he rolled onto the stage, the entire Coliseum roar, and they should have roared for him. So we're very honored to have been able to bestow upon him the very first honorary doctoral degree in the 114 year history of Fort Hayes State University to the Honorable Bob Dole. And a picture that remembers that to Myrta. Oh, you're on first name basis now. <laughs> Very good. Good visiting with you, signed Bob Dole. And a great picture that is mm -hmm. to be framed and added to the president's office here at Fort Hayes State University. Now, uh, Jeff, I don't know whether you can get this or not, but sitting on the desk <laughs> over here is uh, seven boxes, and in those boxes are diplomas mm -hmm. awaiting the signature. personal signature of President Martin. And they are and um, it's very important to me. Um, you know the diploma is it's a visual outward sign of somebody's achievement. Um, there are many achievements through life that that go silent but an achievement of earning a degree is, uh, is an experience that is unique and takes a lot of work, a lot of sacrifice, not just by the individual, but by their parents, by their family members, by their friends and, and colleagues. And so if they have spent four, five, six, seven, however long years to get that degree, then it's worth it. Um, it, it is worthy of a personal touch. And so I sign each one of those degrees personally. Um, it, it's just my little way of saying you're an individual and you deserve that personal touch. So I'm privileged to be able to do it. Tell me about summer on campus, if you would, President Martin. Uh, let's start with the events, for example. A lot of things still going on on a busy uh, campus. It is. You know, it's, it's funny. Yeah. I was actually uh, thinking yesterday I was, uh, as I was coming back onto campus uh, from China that um, I was thinking of when I first started my career in the banking industry. And people said, oh, you're in the bank banker's hours. You shut down at two. You do nothing after two. And I'm going, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. um, and not unlike now, oh, you work for a university. You're off for the summer. Mm -hmm. You do absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah not right. Uh, <laughs> so there's so much going on. I mean, you just need to look the construction. You, you, you leave the campus for a week and something else happens. I left, as you know, almost uh, three weeks ago tomorrow. Mm -hmm to go to China and, and Cambodia. And the parking lot next to the university house was a parking lot. I returned three weeks later and it's no longer a parking lot. Now it's a fenced in compound for the new applied technologies building. So um, the construction continues. It's, it's on target and it's um, on time. Uh, we're looking forward to opening the uh, Dane G. Hansen Entrepreneurship Scholarship Hall here in the fall and welcome our new entrepreneurs to that hall. Uh, Weast Hall's replacement is up and going. Uh, the theme housing is up and going. 
um, the football, the the track and field stadium next to the the in, the athletic intramural mm -hmm. fields are up and going. Uh, so there's a lot of things going on there. Our summer camps are up and going. Uh, yesterday we brought in our for enrollment and orientation um, the new class of uh, 27. 2016, uh, so it's now the class of 2020. <sighs> wow. Um, and, and so we had, we bring them in in groups, so we had 200 kids here on campus yesterday signing up for classes, and it's, it's an invigorating time to welcome new Tigers and, and get them settled with the campus, and they choose their classes, and then we're ready really when they come back in the fall to hit the ground running. And then, of course, you remember the Hispanic College Institute is in two mm -hmm. weeks from now, and um, and that's rolling. And we um, are looking to welcome a, a crop of volunteers, over a hundred of them, that are coming to um, to help these new first generation students. And of course, all the work that has been done by the Fort Hay State University family, the the staff who have put this inaugural Hispanic College Institute together. So. Um, you know, I'm on my way on Thursday to Kansas City to sign a new agreement. And, and so it's a busy time of the year. It's a great time of the year. It's a time when an awful lot of the paperwork that needs to be done gets done. It's a time when we regroup, rethink, re-strategize, re and we go forward. And I was wondering, of course, uh, one of the things that's obvious uh, when you come to Sheridan Hall is that they're tearing up the fountain. They're working on the fountain redo. That's right. It's, um, it's you know, we're trying to beautify the campus. Uh, actually, the joke is, you know, we went to China, and China has, China does everything large. <laughs> uh, large. Like Pentagon size large. Uh -huh. So they're these beautiful lakes and these beautiful cascades and Mike Barnett who's our uh, vice president for finance and, and academic and, um, and administration um, his favorite word is no okay <laughs> so I'm going Mike that would really look good <laughs> no Mike that would really look good no finally after three weeks of badgering him it was like okay I'll, I'll, I'll add it to your wish list you worry <laughs> you down. know so so I think that's his idea of fixing the the fountain downstairs except like I said the, the waterfalls in in China were incredible and he's going I'll tell you what you find all the water and I'll build you the <laughs> pond <laughs> so I'm working on uh, sending a lot of prayers up to God to see if I can put Mike on the spot uh -huh. more water <laughs> More fountains, That's right. more splash. And if you, I, will. you know, I already have half of the pond built between um, Big Creek and the foundation. There's already a, mm -hmm. a little beginning of a pond. All we need to do is put retaining walls into it and ready made. And you know, obviously, put a little some fountain learning in it. activities that can be incorporated. Yeah, into you know, it. we can have canoes and the, maybe we have a rowing team the, or something like that in the middle of Kansas. The biology department will love you <laughs> for right. that. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, tell me about uh, that trip then. Um, three weeks gone, mm -hmm. extensive travel, yeah. and well, it starts with recognizing the students at uh, the two universities connected. It does. You know, it's um, uh, all kidding aside. Uh, yes, it was a very, very long trip, but there's nothing in the world like the faces, the smiles, the the glittering in the eyes, the twinkling in the eyes of, the, of any student mm -hmm. whose name is Call and coming across that stage to get that degree. Mm -hmm. And whether it's in the U.S., whether it's in China, whether it's in Cambodia, whether it's in Timbuktu, the facial expressions are the same. So we've continued the tradition that we do here on campus of calling everybody's name. Mm -hmm. That's their moment in time. And so we, we go to China. They are Fort Hay State University students. The faculty there is Fort Hay State University faculty. And really and truly, we're very thankful for, to them for all the work that we do, that they do. Um, we are strong in China because of the commitment, because of the dedication, because of the support of the faculty who sacrifice a lot to go to China to teach in our program. Uh, that's often not understood. Uh, these individuals have families back in the state, but they feel so strongly about educating the world 
and giving others an opportunities that few have are values mm -hmm. that they go ahead and go abroad. So to the faculty that's abroad, uh, that is teaching on behalf of our programs, those faculty are Fort Hay State University faculty and to them for their dedication, I'm forever in, in there and forever in my, in, I'm just so appreciative, I'm in their debt. Um, but we, we graduated um, in SIAS and in Shenyan Normal, uh, combined approximately 2,000 students. We called everybody by name. They came across. And um, it, it was so neat because some of them, uh, of course, they speak English because our program is in English. And for many of them, it was the first time that they would meet me. And I, I think what was really neat is it's a very ceremonial uh, country, very respectful country. So they kind of stop halfway about six feet, maybe five feet from you, they bow, and then they come forward, and they'll say to me, can I hug you? And it's like, sure, <laughs> <laughs> you know? And you know, kids are kids, uh -huh. and, and it's so wonderful. Uh, and faculty, as I said, very proud of them, and they're very proud of those students who are now Fort Hay State University alumni mm -hmm. in China. Can we show this uh, picture of uh, yes. Xinyan? Yes, this Normal. is um, Shenyan Normal celebrated their 65th anniversary of founding. And so to celebrate it, they put together a symposium on higher education internalization of friendly universities of SNU. <laughs> <laughs> and so these are universities that um, came from throughout the world, individuals representing universities from throughout the world that came to say congratulations on 65 years wow. of founding. And so... These are all representatives of universities yes, then that have yes. been in their history. That's right. Wow. So we're, we were thankful to be part of it and, and very proud of it. I don't know whether we can see him or not, but who is the pre where is the president? Of this is President Xenyan Lin of, of, of uh, Shenyan Normal. And um, we've got uh, several of our members with us. Um, the provost, uh, Graham Glynn, uh -huh. our vice president for finance and administration, Mike Barnett, our vice president for technology, uh, Joy Hatch. And then we have um, Cindy Elliott over here as well. Uh, Dan Kumala is, uh, has taken the role of executive director of Asia Operations. He uh, is one of those who's sacrificing family. His family is actually here in Hayes, um, but he is our legs on the ground individual there to ensure that there is a representative um, for from the university on the ground to support the faculty uh, and to be a liaison between the faculty and the Chinese uh, and our Chinese partners. And then Michael Liebold is, um, uh, new to this team on a full-time basis. He has been in China as a, as a professor there, but now is also taking the role of uh, technology specialist because, again, our needs with technology yeah. have increased exponentially, and we are committed to ensuring that our faculty have the resources away from campus that they would have on campus because they are, after all, part of this family. Now, um you mentioned Cambodia. What can you tell us about the uh, progress toward perhaps a, uh, a Cambodia connection for Port Hayes? Well, we made history in Cambodia um, three days ago. For, no, it wouldn't have been three, about five days ago. Um, time just You're doing quite gone. well for jet lag, <laughs> believe me, President Martin. <laughs> um, we signed um, a, a, a memorandum of, uh, of understanding between the American University of Phnom Penh and Fort Hay State University, the first of its kind. We are the first American university to partner with a Cambodian university. We were very, um, we were very privileged to have representation from uh, the American Embassy uh, on site at the signing. And so we've agreed to begin um, to create on-site programs, not unlike those that we have in China. And so this will be the first expansion into outside of China into a new country. It is a phenomenal opportunity. China is an emerging economy. Our partners there, Dr. Shea Van Death, is a visionary. Uh, he has uh, 
put his proverbial money where his mouth is. He is a self-made man, and he believes in, in giving back. And so he has invested his own money mm -hmm. uh, and found a couple of other partners to create this brand new university. And, um, and so we're very privileged to be part of this um, uh, first of a kind partnership in Cambodia. Um, now the real work begins. Yeah. Um, and so we begin to work together to establish which programs we will be launching first and then marketing those programs to the students. Uh, Cambodia is an emerging country. Everywhere we went, there, was, there were buildings going up. There's a thirst for education. Uh, we were privileged to meet the, the Ministry of Education uh, for Cambodia, who is very supportive also of our partnership. And, and so we're going to make this work. You know, we both universities share the same mission which is providing a venue of education so that uh, people can make an impact, individuals can make an impact in the world, and, and we're going to do it. And we'll be monitoring your progress mm -hmm. as it continues through the coming months that we get a chance to visit. Thank you. Finally, in our last couple of minutes, does President Martin have any downtime, <laughs> any relaxation time, any renewal time in the summer? Every time you and Jeff come over, that's my renewal oh, time in the summer. What a diplomat. <laughs> that's the reason we come here, Jeff. You make my day. Oh. You know, it's, it, it actually is a, a slower time of the year um, in, in the sense that there's not as many activities during the evening. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's time that instead of getting home at 10.30, I can get home at 8.30 mm -hmm. yeah. and, and get some of the stuff done. But, but it is time to, to make... Um, to, to think strategically about the future. I, we talked very quickly earlier about I'll be going to Kansas City to sign uh, a new agreement with the general counsel of the embassy, of the Mexican embassy mm -hmm. in, uh, in Kansas City, and uh, we'll be signing an agreement to launch a program with the Universidad de Querétaro in Mexico, and you're supposed to say Querétaro a hundred times. Uh -huh. uh, um, I, will, I will have to start working on that, I think. But it's a time for strategy, it's a time to thinking, it's a time mm -hmm. to envision in the future, it's a time to, to figure out where we start the academic year and, and how do we re-energize our faculty and our staff who will be themselves working during the summer to, mm -hmm. to revise their, their schedules, to revise their coursework, to be able to come back in the fall to wow us students with the superb education that only Fort Hay State University can provide. And we'll keep the progress going on the uh, new state of Mexico as yes. well. That yes. will be a partner of Fort Hay State as well. Yes, sir. Ever expanding. Ever expanding. Um, um, just get out of the way because we're coming. <laughs> we're yes. going to make sure that people know who Fort Hay State University is and make sure that they make us their destination of choice. Forward thinking world ready. Truly Literally. world ready. Yes, we will make an impact in the world and we will teach and inspire people. We'll give them the wisdom to make a difference to impact the human condition. At the end of the day, um, education, as I've said it often, is futile if it's not used to improve the human condition. And we're committed to doing that and giving people the tool, the wisdom, the knowledge to be able to get it done. President Mirta Martin, from the President's Office, our Community Connection. Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. And the angel care nurse comes to see me once a week. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. Angel Care has helped to, to stay home. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients.